Welcome to NSU, where great things happen. I'm your host, Jillian Corder, along with Dr. Randall Webb, president of Northwestern State University. And we're starting off the season with our wonderful guest, Mr. Yasser El Khotab. Yasser, you are a senior at Louisiana Scholars College, yes. a demon linebacker, is that correct? Right. And you were the 2010 <clears throat> homecoming king. How can you do all this and be on our show today? Um, uh, just doing what a student athlete should be doing, that's how I see it. <laughs> That's great. So you think everyone should be just as involved as you are? Well, not necessarily involved, but just, um, you know, have, you know, their potential, work up to their potential. And uh, I don't know, whatever free time you have, you should be studying and doing the right things, in other words. So, so is, is that what you're doing during your, your I, free time that you I might try, have? Yeah, I try. I try. I try to be, um, you know, have like a, I guess you would say a full college experience. And that's. That's been my goal. Well, that's wonderful. Those great words of wisdom to live by. <laughs> well, a congratulations is in order. You were Thank named you. to the Good Works team. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So um, it's a very prestigious award, and they select 22 students, 11 out of the FBS, and then 11 out of the other group, meaning FCS, NAIA, Division II, Division III. And um, I was honored to be selected part of the 11 out of the tougher group. And uh, it's basically based on your community service and um, your time and your dedication to <clears throat> others, and um, I was selected, so uh, the only one in Louisiana, so it's a big honor. I'm very, very blessed. That, that's very incredible. Dr. Mm -hmm. Webb, I know Northwestern is just ecstatic <coughs> about his many accomplishments. How do you feel about that? Well, we certainly are. We just love having student-athletes that focus as well on academics as Yasser does. And also, I just think uh, community service or service learning whatever rubric you wish to choose to describe these kinds of activities are so important, not just for students, but for all of us. So I'm very grateful when our students, particularly our student athletes, get involved in this. Some might call it a kind of a noblesse oblige where we, those of us who have been fortunate in life, uh, we owe a lot more to those who are less fortunate and we, have a debt that we need to repay to them to help them and within their d environments. And the athletics program at Northwestern has really done a fine job of this. If you look back historically, we actually had two young ladies who uh, won the Steve McCarty Citizenship Award in the Southland Conference two years running. Carrie Bruno, who was a softball star here and she now is employed at the university and Lindsey Green, now McConaughey, who got mm -hmm. married uh -huh. Saturday night, uh, <laughs> also was another. And uh, I really take a great deal of pleasure in academic and citizenship awards for student athletes. So we're especially proud of you, sir. Of course. Well, now you're vying for the title of captain of that team, Correct. is that right? Correct. Now, how <coughs> does that work and where can people go to vote? Okay, so I want to start by giving my motive of why I would want to win. It's not necessarily to have me, you know, become a captain, but what I would really like is um, to have NSU have national recognition. And what they do for the captain is if you win, they bring ESPN and they do a little story about you. And I'd love to have the cameras, you know, at NSU showing around the campus and how wonderful of a university this really is. And so um, you can log online. I know it's on my Facebook. We've made uh, groups. It's on the Demon website, nsudemons.com. <coughs> Excuse me. It's also on the Southland Conference website. So find a link and just vote for yes. It'll take about two seconds. And it, it, hopefully if I win, like I said, we'll have NSU you know, on the map and have some national recognition because I really feel like they deserve it. I think so too. <coughs> Northwestern really needs that national recognition Absolutely. again. And um, so you can vote once a week, is that right? And the week technically starts on a Tuesday? They said Tuesday, but I'm voting once a day just in case, you know. Just in case they're coming <laughs> oh, yeah. through, you're going to have those extra votes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I like that. I like that idea. Well, so this award's <laughs> given to players that have outstanding community service and are really helping out their communities. What, what do you do to help out your community? I know you do so much. Well, um, I just, whatever free time I have, I feel like I, I I need to give back. Just like Dr. Webb said, it's it's really an honor for me to be around, I, I guess, whether it be less fortunate or, or more fortunate, just me helping out has always been a passion of mine. And um, whatever I can think of, I'm going to do it. I mean, I remember freshman year, um, I wasn't allowed to travel with the team I was a walk-on. So what I did was I spent every Friday 
going to the Boys and Girls Club and I just volunteered there. I mean, I helped them with their homework. I played football with them, just listened to them. That in itself, I mean, was not only an experience for them, but it was a huge experience for me. Um, I'm, I, you know, do communities um, clean up every year. I've helped out in the Alzheimer's Awareness Walk, March of Dimes. I mean, the list goes on. It's, I don't even know anymore of what I did, but what I, um, I also started uh, an event called Samaritan's Feet Week. And um, it's kind of funny. I feel like everybody that was um, part of the 22 team of the uh, Allstate Award, they all went to Africa, it seemed like. And what I did, I didn't necessarily go to Africa, but I kind of brought Africa to NSU, which was pretty neat. So we did a, you know, a series of events. You know, uh, we did Powerade Pong. We tried to break a world record for the largest dodgeball game, but it was all um, in benefits to Samaritan's Feet. So we, rose, we raised about, I think, over $300 and over 50 pairs of shoes, and we all donated them towards that group. And I'm sorry if I didn't make it clear, but it's, uh, it benefits um, shoeless children in Africa and all over the world. So. Uh, those are stuff I'm kind of up to. Uh, and what I'm doing now is um, I'm trying to get a blood drive situated for homecoming here. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we'll it'll be called the Demon Blood Drive and we'll have the Demon Blood Award for the group that has the most people, bringing in the most units. And uh, I mean, just I'm always constantly on the roll. So there, there's never one thing that I, I want to do or just like to help out. So that's, that's my deal. <laughs> never any free time. It's all given up for everyone else. Well, with the homecoming week blood drive, mm -hmm. is, do you already have plans that's going to be set up all week? or do you have Right, so it's going to be Monday, October 10th through Thursday, October 13th. And if you represent a group, you can come by and the most, we'll have two different awards. One of them will be for the most people showed up and another one will be for the highest percentage of people showing up. And we'll have two separate awards. I already ordered them from Posies and it's going to be called the Demon Blood Award. And um, unfortunately, um, I had, her name is Miss Deborah. She came to talk to me and she said every year they do this blood drive, they never have a, a good turnout. It's like less than 40 people show up. And Louisiana College had about 105 in one day. And so I thought to myself, of course, you know, surely we can beat it. So that's, that's my goal is to at least beat 100 in one day. And so, but overall, I just, I just know the football team donates blood every year, but I just know the importance of, you know, the, the shortage of blood and how, how bad, you know, hospitals need it. So it's, Motive. Certainly, it's a it's a great charity to work toward. Um, what is your inspiration? What keeps you going? What gets you up every morning and going and you know serving your community like this? Um, I kind of mentioned earlier. I didn't really necessarily um, say it that well, but I just kind of I wake up every day and my motive is to live to my potential. And I would I would rather help people because I I feel like I'm, I'm blessed. I, I I realize that, but it's I don't know. It's just it's a I don't think about it anymore. It's just a passion. I just go up there and I just want to help people and I want to get people to help if they would like to help as well. It's just something I, I guess I was born with and uh, I guess I get the, the uh, empathy from my mother, I guess you could say, so, <laughs> yeah. Well, Dr. Webb, what do, you, what do you say to Northwestern students that maybe aren't so focused on community service? What do you say to them to try to get them volunteering like Asser? Well, I would tell them when they attend Northwestern, they have a myriad of opportunities. Outstanding academic program here, outstanding support services for them, but also other possibilities that enable them to enjoy what I call the Northwestern experience. That's more than what happens in classrooms and laboratories or offices. There, Yasser has a real good take on this. He understands. He's just as every day I wake up, I'm excited about Northwestern. I can't wait to get rolling in that regard. And it would be good if uh, more and more of our students saw that to wake up each day thinking about ways in which they might improve the world, but just starting in Natchitoches and at Northwestern or at some of our other uh, satellite campuses to see that they indeed can. Yasser probably didn't start out to save the world and to <laughs> change the world, but he's really made a significant impact for a young man. And I suspect with the blood drive, the demon blood drive, I should say, mm -hmm that uh, people just by virtue of the fact that his very name is associated with it will cause people to be more interested because uh, this, and when I mentioned the student athletes a while ago, by the way, we're to the point now where we have 5,000 or more hours of civic service every year by student athletes. And 
you couple that with what some of our faculty members are doing, the kinds of leadership Steve Grusbeck gives as our service learning coordinator, there's always something exciting going on that students can be involved in that make a difference in our society. And, and Jill, if you don't mind, I wanted to add, I didn't necessarily make it uh, a, a statement, but there's, I didn't do this by myself. There's a huge support staff at NSU and, and I wouldn't be able to do it without them. I, I know the president encourages me. We have, for student athletes, I just, I know the opportunities because I'm a part of that. Um, we have academic support services, Carrie Crowell, Carrie Bruno, I mean, our coaches, our athletic director, every one of these people at NSU, they, they're really geared to help you out. And I didn't necessarily find all of these opportunities on my own. They helped me out, they set them up. Um, I'm a part of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and what we do is we give opportunities to student athletes to volunteer, and um, we, you know, we set up certain events like that. And like Dr. Webb said, we have we had I think last year we had over 5,000 hours of community service just within the sports alone, the you know, athletics alone. So um, it's not like you know everyone's sitting on their bus not doing anything. We're actually very active, and um, like you said, the Northwestern State experience is what makes it unique at, at NSU. So. And that's wonderful. And it's incredible that through all the different awards that he's gotten and, and everything else that Yasser has under his belt, that he stays so humble. It's, <laughs> that is amazing to me. Thanks. Well, okay, so we've talked about this amazing new award. We've talked about all of your extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Demon Football this season. Right. What, what do you have to say about this season? Um, it's the momentum is, is just keep, you know, it won't stop. It's, it's still rolling and we have a big game ahead of us coming up. And uh, I, I just really like the, the unique approach we take every week. It's not necessarily focusing on conference or national championship. It's more of what we have next. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, we have practice coming up in a few hours. So that's my focus right now. And it builds up eventually till Saturday, which is against McNeese. So, you know, it's a, a great game. It's going to be uh, you know, a great indicator of how we are and how we should do in the conference. But, um, you know, I, I want to mention the, the start of our schedule. Yeah, it was pretty difficult. They ranked mm -hmm. it as the fifth toughest uh, schedule in the nation in Division One football. But I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. It's honestly made us better playing teams like LSU and SMU. And Delta State was a great team, too. So it, it's, if anything, it's just been very beneficial. And we've come out on a great start, I think. And uh, hopefully we carry over that momentum to the end of the year. Well, great. We're, yep. I know we're all excited. Go, go Demons on Absolutely. that note. Well, <laughs> explain to the audience one more time how to vote, just so we can get all those votes for you. All right. So if you guys don't mind, if you want to put NSU on a national spotlight, um, all we have to do is get online. You can join my Facebook. There's a group called uh, Yasser for Captain or Twitter. It's called Vote for Yasser. Or, I mean, it's everywhere. You can get on NSUDemons.com, the Southland website, the Allstate website. All you got to do is click my uh, box. I got a little picture of me it's pretty cute and then I uh, just <laughs> click on it says vote for Yasser and then hopefully um, I think November 4th is the last day we stop voting we tally up enough votes we can uh, put NSU on national recognition all right well thank you so much Yasser we really appreciate you being here Thanks, um, and Dr. Webb um, that'll do it uh, for Northwestern State University's where great things happen we'll be back Northwestern State University is a friendly student-oriented university. Become part of a Northwestern family and you will find a dedicated faculty and staff who work to ensure student success in and out of the classroom. Northwestern has campuses in Natchitoches, Shreveport, Leesville, Fort Polk, and Alexandria, along with online degree programs. More than 75,000 alumni around the U.S. and the world invite you to find yourself at Northwestern State University. We're back to Northwestern State University's where great things happen. I'm your